guys, this is Rabbit, and I've been playing Zaku on and off now for four days. And I'm going to be diplomatic here and say I think there are a lot of missed opportunities when it comes to Zaku's design. Uh, so subjectively, from a thematic standpoint, Zaku is a 100% miss. Uh, she's supposed to be the broken Warframe, but nothing in her ability list says broken. Uh, there are no unreliable abilities or unpredictable behaviors. Uh, nothing surprising ever happens. So I think there was a, a missed opportunity there to make Zaku uh, an interesting wild card. Uh, but there's nothing that's really going to surprise you. So subjective stuff aside, uh, that ability list is really bland. Uh, for instance, her one is just a straight up damage buff. Press the button, you do a little more damage for a set amount of time. Uh, to be fair, it's void damage, but void damage isn't very good. It's not strong against anything, and it's weak against one thing. And the places that you might really value void damage, like against Eidolon shields, uh, they have specifically disallowed it from working. So, I think there's a lot of uh, missed opportunity there. Uh, and it also doesn't synergize with her too. Uh, the interesting thing about Zaku's abilities is that they appear to be cobbled together from analogs from other Warframes. Uh, and I'm not going to use the phrase low effort, but I think you could. Uh, so her 2 is basically Loki's Radio Blind, plus the damage portion of Nova's Null Star. Uh, it fires a little faster than Null Star, but it doesn't do great damage. So it's useful for the disarm, uh, but you're not going to really see yourself clearing rooms faster with it. Uh, Zaku's 3 has three abilities buried in it. Uh, the first of which is... It's basically Revenant's Enthrall straight up. And the second one, Gaze, is probably the best of the bunch. And it is actually pretty good, I'll be fair. Uh, it's basically uh, Garuda's Blood Altar, but instead of healing you, it strips armor. And if you get enough uh, ability strength, then it will strip most of the armor from enemies and make things go faster. Uh, but you're going to be immobile, so it doesn't work everywhere. Uh, the third one is basically Wisp's Solar Beam, except that instead of igniting things, it, uh, it lifts them. Uh, and there are some synergies you can pull off with lifted enemies, but it's nothing that's really going to uh, change the way you play. Uh, Zaku's 4 it brings her damage reduction from 25%, which she has all the time, up to 75%. Uh, though I'll say it's misleading to call it damage reduction, because uh, anyone who knows anything about these games knows that dodge, which is what we have with Zaku, is not as good as actual damage reduction. If you get unlucky a few times on those dodge rolls, then you're going to take 100% of the damage coming at you, and you're functionally going to get one shot. Uh, so while it's nice to have, it's not going to get you through uh, really long survivals or uh, through steel path at all. So I, I, I hope that they try and bring back uh, some of the things we lost as they were designing Zaku, like potentially the synergy between uh, her one and her other abilities or that they find a good niche for her, like allow her to uh, hit Eidolon shields so that we can find a good place for Zaku. Because right now, uh, it, it pains me to say, I think the right place for Zaku is you know, sitting on the Warframe shelf, uh, collecting a little bit of dust. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in-game, and good luck.